Alhamdulillah, I decided to come back because I need a fresh air and I need to refresh my soul and refresh myself. The difference between the soul and the self, both of them start with S, self is soul self. Sufi. <laughs> Salaf. <laughs> okay? You talk about ambassadors. <coughs> and you talk about human resources. <coughs> human resources should be the motivating tool <coughs> of the organization. Not the policy breaking the back of the organization. Because sometimes with your policy, and the delay of making a decision, hundreds of people could be dead by a late decision. <coughs> so use your tool and your power to speed up the process of help and the process of delivering the right aid to the right people at the right time, at the right place. But don't use it to put your feet on the brake all the time. Because if we put our feet on the brake all the time, the car will never move. It will be in a parking situation. Barking or parking? Sufi people speak proper English. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, so this is the first thing. It's a challenge. Because sometimes young officers worship the policies and worship to control people who are more senior to them in the field. I've got more experience to them in the field. Who can see the agony and feel the agony 24-7 <coughs> for the time they live with Islam. That's why my advice to you to visit the field as a part of our training in human resources. Because now we are talking about numbers, salaries, budget, number of people who help, but we should talk about the lives and the feeling and the dreams of the people that they live in these camps. Without seeing them, without seeing it, you will always treat them as numbers. They are not numbers, they are the providers of our, of our sustainable life or sustainable livelihood that we are living. So the second message is don't ever treat somebody in the field top down. They are as valuable as you are, could be more. Because they are paid less and they do work more. And we work. The talent is not made in Britain. Could be made in Britain. Britain got talent, huh? <laughs> X Factor. Arabs got talent. Arab idols. Honey idols. Shaquille idols. Can you take a selfie? <laughs> <laughs> On your Facebook. Look at them. <laughs> this is a talk. This is a talk. Talk of the brains. The brain drain. His brain draining my brain. You got it? So if you got to try it. That's it. That's our. So what? Talent. Talent is in the field. But the needs of the people raise their intellectual capability and intelligence. When I was visiting Gaza in 2010, I found that the 18 years old boys and girls are ahead of the 25 years and 30 years old people living in this country and in other countries. Because they have nothing and they dream of having a lot of things. The highest level of education amongst them, so that in Gaza and Palestine, especially in the Arab region, the highest level of education amongst in the Arab region is in the Palestinian camps. 
okay? Achievers. Achievements and talent in Makdishi. Somalia. In Juba. South Sudan. In Kabul. Or Kandahar. Afghanistan. Talents. Above talents, above talents, above talents. We are talking about talents, but we are not talented enough. So really, your role as human resources, one of my dreams is, I'll talk about your role, and I'll talk about my dream was actually, is to create young leadership. Run by you, but, but mentoring by others. You have to get right mentors to mentor the young leaders. Okay? But you can't do the policy. Nobody stop you doing it. This was the dream. To get those youngsters to stand up for their community and for our humanity. Global leaders who come from anywhere, from Bangladesh, from Dhaka, Chittagong, from Sialkot, in uh, Pakistan, from Multan, because full of peers <laughs> and mango, both of them go together. So all this is coming from Delhi, different countries. So really, if you want to create an ambassadors, we create the substance in the heart of such ambassadors. <coughs> the difference between learning and knowing the information and having the knowledge, and having the spirit, then lifting up the soul to direct humanity. Without the last two, you cannot direct humanity. So I'm very happy for you to achieve, but what you need to do is to, sus to sustain the process of achieving. You can score a goal, but that does, that does not mean that you won the match, or you won the football league, or the, or, or the cup. Scoring a goal is good, not good enough. The German always win at the last 20 seconds because they have sustainable system of achieving their success. They want you to be better than the German and others. Clear for us. And talent is made where? In the field. Find the talent, you only find it in the field. The majority of it will be in the field. In the middle of the desert, in the middle of the camp, in the middle of the displaced people, this is where you find the talent. The jewels underneath your feet, but you always look away from them. So I thank you very much for coming to, I refreshed my soul when I came here for these few minutes, that's why I drove, I was not very, I was a little bit upset when I left because I was in a heavy discussion with somebody else. But I have to come out from the house to be inspired by you, so to carry on. Thank you for asking me, or for accepting me, for asking me to come here, and we will celebrate the first step of success in a very long process, in a very thousand way, way or road, to keep a sustainable achievement as a process, as a process. Thank you. <laughs> so guys, we were originally, we thought we might end up at three and give you a break. Um,